What's up guys, C213 here, and uh, I know I have uh, haven't done a video in a long time, but I thought I'd do a video uh, as an update video of sorts to um, kind of talk about, um, you know, Coleman lanterns, uh, since uh, white gas lanterns, but uh, in this case it would be Coleman. Um, but, um, so, here is a lantern I recently picked up. It's a 1943 220C, um, and as you can see, it's in excellent condition uh, because of the brass, because of, of the brass construction of the font, and um, you know, and, and that it, it is almost entirely. Um, there's basically no corrosion on it except on the ventilator, it has a little corrosion. Um, but uh, it works great. Um, the leather and the pump, they need a little bit of lubrication. But I added a little silicone oil there, and we were good. Uh, and also, I'm going to talk about mantles in a minute. But um, basically, I'm going to just um, sh you know, light this lantern up, and then, um, yeah, talk about it. So, I'm going to release the pressure in the uh, thing. I, I mean, I always like to release the pressure. You may be wondering why I release the pressure. Uh, simply because that way it's easier for me to figure out um, how much um, pressure I need to put in, um, and where, and you know exactly how much is in there. And also sometimes uh, this lantern sometimes uh, kind of flickers a little more if there's too much pressure on um, on, on startup when you light it. So I just like to um, you know keep uh, less pressure in there, uh, or I just know the exact amount. So I usually put in like 40 pumps or so. So let's do that. Okay, so that's 40, and now um, just to show you better, I'm going to take the ventilator off here. Let's see if I can get it. Come off here. Uh, why does this, uh, I tighten this nut up here too much, so... Unlike my 288, there's no um, kind of spring-loaded thing to uh, you know push up on the globe and the ventilator. So here's basically where there's some corrosion in the ventilator. Um, I'll give you an example. If you look inside there, you see there's it's a little bit rusted, but I mean for 1946, this is in excellent condition. Um, just just excellent um, there's you know no paint chipping barely uh, you can see some more of the rust there now but that can be easily cleaned up it's still got plenty of structural integrity you know it's not you know softened up or weakened a lot all I gotta do is grind out some of that rust grind out all that rust and then I'm gonna repaint this with some rust-oleum uh, and uh, I may repaint the font or I may I may make this uh, I may just polish it up and have the shiny brass there but well, we will uh, light this up. Oh yeah, and this is the original Pyrex globe as well. Very nice. Um, funny thing, there's actually some blemishes in there, as you can see, little air bubbles, and that's kind of I think makes it unique. Um, some may consider that a, um, I don't know, negative, but I, I think that that makes it unique, the little air bubbles in the glass there. So, uh, we're going to light this using my permanent match, so take out the striker. My bad. There we go. Strike it. And normally I'd light through this hole, so I'm going to do it the way I would normally. And then open the valve. Wait for the lantern to start to spit. And we get ignition here without the match. And if it starts to flame up a little bit, you want to turn the valve off. Let the generator tube heat up a little bit more. 
and then you can give it a little bit more fuel and then spin the cleaning rod all right and now we're going to give it a few more pumps of air here Okay, once you feel some significant resistance there, uh, what you're going to do is just turn this valve all the way open until it turns no more, and you're burning at full brightness. Now just replace the globe, be careful, and put the ventilator back on, and put your nut back on there. Okay, now, you can see too, I, I should note, that how bright and white this light is coming from this lantern. That is because I'm currently using peerless thorium coated mantles, and that's what we're here to talk about today. So, most mantles you buy in the store, or in fact all of them really, are almost always Coleman lantern mantles because they're the most popular. Um, but also, no, number 21s are usually the most popular, but uh, anyway, Coleman mantles do not have thorium anymore. They got rid of that around 1990, I believe. Coleman mantles now are coated with yttrium, and yttrium produces a kind of a more yellow light, and honestly just doesn't look as good. Um, unfortunately, both my lanterns right now have uh, thorium mantles on. Um, but next time I'll post a video with some uh, yttrium mantles. You can even look it up. I mean, almost all lanterns videos on YouTube are using lanterns that have yttrium mantles. Uh, you'll you'll easily see the difference. Um, so these are standard Coleman mantles you can get in the store today. Um, I just was able to pick up some from Bob's Coleman Parts. Bob, is it Bob, or is it Mike? I think it's Mike now um, at OldComeanParts.com. He sells. Um, old silk light mantles from Colton and these are no longer made these are old new stock as uh, as, as said on his website and um, these 21 A's silk lights are first of all much higher quality too and more importantly they're coated with thorium now most people get all you know they like people people get all weird about radiation and stuff thorium only puts out alpha particles alpha particles can be stopped with a sheet of paper um, and I think it puts out some beta particles too, which can be stopped with some um, glass. So basically, if you're sitting, unless your face is against the glass of your lantern, there's no risk, even this close to the lantern. Now, if I didn't have the globe on, I'd get something, but it's still not that much. But with the glass on, it's pretty much a safe bet I'm okay. Um, so there's no reason to really freak out. Uh, which is a shame too, because these mantles uh, do uh, so much better. Um, now we're going to go into quality. Now these two mantles uh, are are um, made by the same company, um, but the Peerless mantles I'm using are made by Peerless, of course, and the 2C HG are number 21 replacements. Now these come in packs of four, and it can be bought online as well. Um, Silk lights and and these can only be bought online. Uh, they cannot be purchased. Um, uh, in in store at all, uh, generally because of the whole radiation thing and uh, people freak out, like I said. But but um, these can be purchased in store, and that's a problem because most people are you know lazy and, and want the most convenient option. And unfortunately, these are the most convenient option. They're also the most uh, well, I'd say the worst um, value for your money. Uh, you pay probably I think I paid close to two fifty. Possibly at least two dollars, two two twenty something like that for a pack of two mantles, all right? That and, and you know I used to think that was a good deal, till I saw what I, how much I could pay, you know, to get these. Peerless costs four only two forty, right? And you get four mantles. Then again, there's an, a seven dollar shipping fee, but I buy a lot at a time, 
So if you buy bulk amounts of these things, it's actually a lot cheaper online. And you get a better quality mantle. With Coleman's new mantles, I really think they use a cheaper material because I I have other yttrium mantles that I've used, like the the um, the Century. I don't have unfortunately the package, but um like Century uh, mantles, they are just as durable um, as these, if not even more. They form this sort of tight um, kind of bulb shape instead of the Coleman straight shape. And if you'll note these mantles, I'll turn down the flame a little bit so you can see. If you'll note, you'll see these mantles are bulb shaped. Oh, come on. Uh, let's see if you can get close enough to see that. Yeah, they're they're kind of here. Lift this. You can see they're not straight up and down like the Coleman style ones. They are bulb shaped mantles. Now, what this means is they actually have more structural integrity, but I don't necessarily think that's a. It also has more surface area, so. Um, either way, they just always form the same shape, they're consistent, and they're very durable. If you jostle the lantern, you won't have shattering problems of the mantles, and I don't mean like the, like the glow shattering, I, mean, I just call, I say it's shattering because it's brittle material. Um, these shatter or fall apart very easily, like if you shake the lantern too much, little, they will turn to dust, they will develop holes, they will crack your globe, they will put white spots, whatever happens. It's not good. Um, I would honestly say with these, I was replacing my mantles if I use my lantern. And trust me, I use my lantern just to walk around my backyard and and then you know have fun on my deck and stuff. And um, and uh, even I might even use it indoors sometimes um, with the windows open, of course. And I don't even move my lantern that much. I'm not going camping or anything. And I'm already breaking the mantles like once every two weeks, all right. And I have to replace them. And I only use my lantern maybe three to four times every two weeks. With, uh, I haven't tried, I, I've only tried one set of silk lights, I can say they work pretty well, and very well in fact. Um, but I know that the Peerless, I've used several of these already, the Peerless ones are very good. They're durable, they're they're bright, and they're, they're fantastic mantles really. Uh, I mean, this is a prime example on my 220C here. It's extremely bright, it's just extremely bright. Um, it, 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 it makes my lanterns that much more useful, and it literally... Um, this has never happened in the past. It literally makes my lanterns rival my rival my electric lights. I mean, they really there at this point there are no other there are no lanterns um, there are no I don't have any electric lanterns that about of this size that could even even close to matching the amount of light these put out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy off here, um, and I'm gonna place it outside because it does you know as it cools down it vents gas. So. But as another example, this is my 288 here, um, and you can see just how bright that is. It's just blinding white light. So again, with Coleman's new model mantles, you get a very yellow light and a very weak, I'd say, mantle. Um, with with silk lights. They're, they are more expensive. Silk lights, I believe, are five dollars for a two pack. Now, because of just because of um, not, uh, the increasing unavailability, unavailability because um, unavailability because of uh, uh, you know they don't they're not made anymore. And these are they're anything you find online is going to be old new stock, um, which is fine. But I mean, I'm surprised there's that many left. I think. Uh, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, for some of the uh, the older viewers, I uh, will probably know this. Um, if you're like my age, I don't. I was not uh, aware. I was at the time that these were. I, mean, I, I wasn't even born. So uh, when these were phased out, I think. But um, if you uh, you know were around then and you you you, uh, you remember that that time, um, just leave it in the comments. Tell me, did they uh, make some kind of announcement that they'd be phasing these out? Uh, I, I think they must have. Um, but uh, I'm sure that's probably why a lot of people bought up a lot of these things because they would be gone, and I think that's why we still have a lot of um, them left in, in you know various places because I, I just don't understand how you can have this many. But anyway, uh, when you order them from um, Bob's, uh, why do I keep saying Bob? It's Mike at uh you know you order them from Old Coleman Parts, um, 
you get pretty much they look brand new. Um, they're they're not like been sitting in some kind of dusty attic. They've obviously been you know they they bought them for this purpose. But anyway, five dollars for two pack of these. But for Peerless, which I think work just as well as if not better, I think they work about the same as the Coleman ones. You get a four pack for two forty. So I think these are more economical, and in the long run, eventually the Coleman's are going to run out. The Silk Lights are going to run out. Um, I would use Peerless. Peerless is really um, high quality mantles, uh, and they're they're available for multiple websites, I think. But um, you can always find these on like eBay and stuff. But I, I say the most reliable place to get for a consistent price is to order these off um, Coleman Parts, old oldcomanparts.com. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative. And remember, guys, keep collecting those lanterns and keep them in good running shape because these are historic and they are a piece of our past, present, and the future. And I think that uh, lanterns in this form will be around for a long time simply because of the combined with the nostalgia and the, the mystery and wonder of those who no longer understand the origins of these things. It'll still be, um, they'll be around because of, well, just listen. Can't you hear that? That's a magical sound. You don't get that with other lanterns. You don't get that with an electric lantern. That hiss is unique. And that's what makes collecting Coleman's special. Alright guys, so remember, keep on collecting. And if any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.